and now I'm going to demonstrate the changing a baby's nappy. Most importantly, again, you've got to look after yourselves as parents um, with regards to where you're going to change your baby's nappy. Um, we're doing this today on the floor. However, if you have a change table, that's fantastic as well. Really look after your back health because you're going to be changing a nappy a lot of times throughout the day and night and you have to look after yourselves as well. So most importantly, make sure that you have everything close to you and the baby before you start and don't be distracted with a phone or anything else or toddlers, anything else while you've got your baby on a change table, making sure you never leave their side. That's really important. Um, having a change of a full change of clothes is important because beautiful babies, when they are exposed, they might like to pass urine and wet their suit or the surroundings. So having everything close by means you never have to leave your baby alone on the change table. So um, Sometimes you can also have some barrier cream if required, if your baby has a red or sore bottom, not always. And it's your decision and your choice as to what sort of wipes you'd like to use. Uh, there are some basic ones which are eco-friendly wipes that you can reuse or some water-based wipes, or you can just use um, some cotton balls and plain water. So it's really up to you. So whatever you wanna do, that's your choice. Um, have your nappies and everything close by. So I'm going to start to demonstrate now. Yes, I am. So we're going to take down the old suit. Hello. And again, using your voice and interacting with your baby at any time, whether it's a nappy change or a tickle or a cuddle or a bath, just having them know that you're close by and it's a relaxing thing to do, that always helps. Hi. Hi, it's a really great opportunity for interaction, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, when you can, when you're unwrapping the previous nappy, bringing the Velcro to the sides here, and bringing this down. If the if the nappy is quite soiled, you can use the old nappy to wipe any excess away. Saves on wipes. And it really also gives baby enough time to have a little bit of kick around. Often they can expel some gas either end, which is really handy. So removing that nappy here, giving them a kick around here. And with the fresh nappy, there are instructions which you, we will get used to very quickly around the nappy. Most importantly, one side, the back side will always have some elastic at the back and the Velcro is attached to the back. So. Once you've actually using your wipe here, hi, and wiping any excess away, it can be cold. Most importantly with boys, you can pretty much do whatever you like, <laughs> as in wiping around all the skin folds and areas. If you do have a daughter, it's really important to make sure that you're using one wipe and you're wiping from the front bottom to the back bottom and then throwing that one away. You don't want to really introduce any um, fecal material into girls' front bottoms, okay? So wiping down for girls and pretty much whatever you like for a boy. <laughs> now, sometimes again, you can use a different wipe here. If, you, if baby's happy and relaxed like this one here, you might even find that when they're exposed to cold air, they may like to wee on you. So having something there can also help. And then bringing the new nappy, gently bringing baby's legs up and feet up and bringing that nappy up, into, up to their waist at the back there. Being able to then make sure that we've got that waistband with the Velcro on the heel on the outside. Bringing the front of the nappy up now again, with beautiful little boys, you want to make sure everything is pointed south before you're putting the nappy on. Because a lot of the time, little boys would love to just wee all over a fresh suit. And at three o'clock in the morning, it's really annoying. So bringing that up here. Then you've got the Velcro that you're going to bring to the side. And quite firmly, you can bring that Velcro to the middle of the front of the nappy. And then, hello, on the other side as well that and quite firmly across. Making sure also that you've got an extra little elastic, making sure everything is included in the nappy. 
If you have a newborn baby that still has their umbilical cord stump or even a fresh clamp from birth, most of the time you find it's, it's much easier to fold that back so that you're not irritating the cord stump or the clamp um, and irritating that um, umbilical region when it still hasn't fallen off yet. So once that's done, again, lots of interaction, lots of cuddles and redressing the baby. If you have quite soiled hands, remembering always to wash your hands, maybe beforehand or using a wipe, because again, you don't want to leave the baby alone, using a wipe to take anything off your hands initially, making sure baby's safe and happy and feeling loved, and then redressing your baby. You did really well today. Ah, oh, yes, I know. If you have toddlers that are very interested in helping, it's a really great opportunity to include them in the care of their baby brother or sister. Bring that up there. And once you've done all that, most importantly, lots of cuddles and making sure baby is safe, whether it's on a mat, um, with someone else that they love and trust before then you're getting rid of the rest of the nappy hand washing and off you go.